What is up, Dark Shots? So today, today we'll be reviewing the Transformers Velocitron. Transformers Velocitron Road Hauler. And there he is, and I do not have the packaging. Sorry, bros. So here's Road Hauler, and he and he is a repaid Snake Me mode of a uh, grapple. Unfortunately, I do not have the Air Fries grapple because COVID that time. So here is grapple in his uh. In his crane truck mode, which well, yeah, actually looks good. I... Now let's take a look at the details. Move the crane out of the way. I mean, he's a crane truck. Sorry, you at the front right there. I guess I'm like they molded seats in there. I don't know if you can tell. You got the wheels. You got green rims right there. You got the silver for the bumpers. Transparent blue for the headlights. Autobots are right there. Those are his arms right there. You got the, you got the pistons right there. Right there, molded on each side. And these wheels are painted in green. The rims are painted in green. You got some Constructicon. You got some constructive stripes right there. On each side. Auto. Not too much paint to it, but hey, it is what it is. Let's take a look at the crane right there. You got the hook right there. And you got the, the, the construction straps right there. And you get some details. After all, a very good vehicle mode. He rolls! I was rolling big shit. I mean, he rolls very smoothly too. He rolls very smoothly. He does come with accessories. He does come with a claw. Sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to take a like it go through to 60. And you can move the hook down and you can plug this on. Wait, wait. Let's see. Not bad. I mean, you can you can use it for construction purposes. I'm gonna leave it on just for now. He does come with a gun, which is plugged into either side, which is it plugs into either side, and he does come with this. I mean, I mean, it's supposed to go into his hands, but. I have no idea where to store this. You can store it right there. Sorry. You can store it right there. Store it on the side. Or store it in the bottom, I think. I guess there's no tab. I mean I wish there I wish there's a tab underneath, but hey it is what it is. Since there's nothing else to talk about the vehicle, now let's get down to trend. Transformation, yeah, we let. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to bring this on the sideways. You want to push that in until it. Oh, yeah, it clicked into place, rotate this around. And um, I do like this guy's transformation a lot because where everything needs to be, you want to take. This whole section right here, you can see that there. You see, there's two pegs right there, and they're going to these two posts right there. So once you lift that up, you want to split the arms and swing them forward, and then you want to take this. Once you take this, you. Have Two pegs right there, and they're going through these two ports right there. You, to, you can bring this up just like so. You want to bring now, you got multiple hinges to work with. You want to take this hinge, and you can see it here there's this tab that goes into the slot right there. So, you want to push it in, you want to bring this down until you, oh, yeah, if you're going. You can take this pin right here that reveals the head. And then you want to bring this in until it clips into place. And bring this down. 
Now we're at the home stretch already. Let's take the feet. Bring this up. You want to bring his feet down and like so. Bring his arms down. You want to want to flip out his hands. Open this up. Make sure the arms are stay tabbed in place. Make sure the arms stay tabbed in place. So there you have Road Hauler in his robot mode. And he's just a uh, a grapple repaint, but with a slightly with a slight remold. Uh, let's take a close here at the head scope. The head scope is slightly the same. It's just that he has that screaming face. You got the uh, chest right there. The arms we pretty much saw in vehicle mode. But these bits right there. Nice the details of the legs. You got the feet right there. You got the grapply feet right here. So that's pretty much it. Articulation wise, the head can goes to a 360 arms can't go through a 360 you got upward you got elbows that can go to nine degrees nine degrees you have waist rotation you got your waist rotation slightly because the back legs kick forward a kick Bad. You got your knee. You, you got your 90 degree bend. You got your 90 degree bend. And you got your ankle tiltage. Also, if you want to, but you can extend the feet down and mm, use it as a toe joint. And you can bring the feet down if you want to. If you wanted to. So, all in all, a good look at the legs. Now you can take the accessories, you can you can have him holding his gun. You can use that port right there for storage, but uh, display however you wish. And with, with this piece right there, uh, you're going to fold the hand back in. You see there, you can plug that in. And I don't know what to do with this. I mean, I do know what to do with this. It's just a, I'm gonna take it off for now, and then pl plug the gun, put the gun right back there after review. You can plug it in. You can fold that back in, and plug the claw. In. And you got your claw, and you got your. Uh, I forgot what this called, but. Hey, it is what it is. So there you have Road Hauler. I mean, he's just a repaint of Grapple, but if you miss out the uh, if you mess out this mold, maybe you should chance to buy it. And these and this figure is available in Walmart, so you can go check that out. So there is the Transformers Legacy Velocitron oh, Road Hauler. If you didn't see my uh, Transformers reviews, check those out. If you didn't see my uh, SG4 reviews, check those out as well. And this is Dark Power saying, see you later, my dark shots.